Hi, this is Nicole Smith Woodard with eXp Realty. Many times the homeowners I represent ask me this question. Should I accept a contingency contract on my home? That's a big question and there's several answers I want to take us through. One is to determine exactly what a contingency contract is and then we'll talk about factors you should consider as to whether or not you accept it. First and foremost, there are contingencies across the board when you're a seller here in the state of Texas. In fact, even if it's a cash transaction, which many times it is, it's still contingent, if you will, upon that buyer showing up to closing with their money. So we take you through this process step by step, but there's always some level of contingency, some level of risk. But here are the big ones. First and foremost, a mortgage contingency. So more than likely your buyer's going to have a mortgage and if for some reason they can't ultimately get the financing or get that loan approval, then they don't have to buy your house. The second is an inspection contingency. Now in Texas, we call that an option period well, you, where your buyer will actually buy your house off the market while they get it inspected and negotiate repairs or further concessions, but they can cancel for any reason. That's a huge contingency. It's very rare that we don't give the buyer an option, I say give, they don't buy an option period here uh, in, a, in the state of Texas. The third contingency is the appraisal contingency, meaning even if you love this house and you think it's worth this much and you're willing to pay it, especially here in this competitive scenario where many times buyers are having to contract above list just to get it under contract, sometimes the appraisal comes in lower than the contracted price and if that's the case, it's a contingency, the buyer can opt out. And then finally, I think this is the one that most people think of when they think of contingency contracts, and that is a contract on this home that is contingent upon the sale of the buyer's current home. Now, this one is extremely risky. Um, it, it just is. So on the levels of risk, there's always going to be some level of contingency, but if you can contain those risks, and in fact, many times there are certain things we can do depending upon the competitiveness of the nature of your home and the number of offers that you are entertaining at any given time, we may very well be able to get the buyer to waive some of these contingencies, therefore minimizing the risk to you to going forth with that particular buyer. But bottom line, there are risks along the way, and certainly I would be there to guide you every step of the way to minimize those risks. If you have any questions at all about whether or not you should accept a contingency contract on your home, I would love to be a resource for you. Certainly, if there are any other real estate related questions that you'd like me to answer on one of these videos, I'd be happy to do that too. Please reach out to me through my messaging or through social media. I'd love to connect with you and be your residential real estate resource. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.